It's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. I myself have made millions of dollars, but I ain't gonna lie to you folks at all. Ain't sunshine and rainbows, man. Section 8 tenants are animals. Section 8 tenants are savages. Section 8 tenants are heathens, man. See, that's Oh, Lord, I'm so glad that Holden Wise came and put that the fuck out because it was time for that hoe to go. Thank y'all, Holden Wise. You don't know me. You don't know him. Dude. What the fuck's so funny? Bro. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny? It's, it's just like you, you seem to be. Jeez, that Ooh, dark. God. Okay, whoa, bro. Whoa. Dude, dude, calm. Okay, I. Why the fuck are you still hey, filming whoa. me? I can meet a demon star when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off. Find a place with the view. The pain is never gonna. Sir. Their best no, life, dude. Right Hello. Oh, the hills have eyes too, yeah, bro. That's not fucking. That's not the right house to have this. Come on, bro. Hot plate, dude. This place is <laughs> best. His name is on this house. He owns this house. Dude, seriously. All right. Look. You'll never understand. You don't want what it's like to be a giving, nice person. You are not a good person. He didn't take care of us. He was never here. Just like you, you fucking piece of shit. You probably don't take your kids either. You know, you're a fucking scumbag. You know, this is probably what you do all day. You come and harass little women like me. Well, I mean, when they steal from us, yeah. No, 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 no. You're the abuser. You're over here on my property. You're harassing me. I'm on my property, and, and you're stealing from me. That's why I'm here, remember? Like, my house, you live there, but you're stealing. Like, you're stealing. No, you're but stealing from me. None of this shit works. Then why don't you move out? I'm trying. Believe me. Bro. For the last fucking time, don't call me your fucking bro. <coughs> Dude. I'm a woman. I, I get it. I'm literally just trying to reason with you. So we can you're get you off, you're gonna piss me off. So we can get you out of here peacefully. And you're not making the situation any worse, bro. This is like literally You're a fucking abuser. Okay. You're a you you hate women? No. You're a fucking abuser. Really? Oh, that actually ain't too bad. Typical lesson stuff behind them. As you can tell from the carnage you've been watching thus far, Detroit is one of the most difficult markets in America. Managing tenants in Detroit is incredibly difficult. However, investors from all over the country, all over the world, come to Detroit because the pricing in Detroit is so low, it's considered the land of opportunity by many. If you can do things the right way in Detroit, you can absolutely make millions of dollars. But what you need if you're going to try your hand at low-income investing, Section 8 investing in Detroit, Michigan, you need a proper 
boots on the ground team of property management professionals that can help you navigate situations like what you're seeing during this show. And when I'm doing any business in Detroit, when Holton Wise does anything in the Detroit market, the boots on the ground team we are working with is logical property management. They are the boots on the ground Detroit experts. So if you guys want to try your hand at investing in the Detroit market, I highly recommend you reach out to Logical Property Management. We'll go ahead and place their contact info in the notes below this video. And let's get back to the carnage. Oh shit, I got a whole attic up here, bro. Well, assuming this is all his. It's quite a bit of stuff. I don't know what that has to do with anything that me and you have to do with. I don't. You know, in fact, you're aggressive and you're scaring this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, but I, you got it. So are you just not going to pay then? We're just not doing this. You're just. I have to come back w with the, the cops and I have to take it. I have to take your kids' beds and stuff out of the house. You're not here. I'll have my people talk to your people and then we'll figure it all out. Once my baby daddy's home, we'll go from there. I, I don't think he's coming, but. Fuck. Okay. All right. So, seriously, like, I get it. Like, you're slamming the door. You're, sh you're shutting the door today, right? But, like, literally, after this, you're not going to have the ability to shut the door. We're going to come in. So, can we just work this out? I would fucking take the door with me if you're going to kick my ass out of here. God, this fucking girl, bro. For fuck's sake, this fucking girl. This fucking girl. We've been talking to you guys, you, whoever. Not me. No, We've been talking no. to you guys for like three fucking weeks. What I'm trying to tell you is we're not doing that anymore. This is literally... I don't know you. What's your name? James. I'm the owner of Holton Wise. This is literally the last time anyone is ever going to talk to you. Like, you don't know me. You don't know him. Dude. What the fuck's so funny? Bro. What the fuck is so funny? It's, it's just like you, you seem to be... Jeez. God. Ooh, all right. God. I, Okay, whoa, bro. Whoa. Dude, dude, calm. Okay, I. Why the fuck are you still hey, filming whoa, me? Whoa, whoa, don't touch the camera. Right, look. Okay, Kristen. Co all right, calm down. Hey, whoa. Hey. Okay. I get it. You are mad. I understand. You are. You are angry, but like, lip. I'm. I'm. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm actually trying to help you right now because again. I'm trying to help you. No. No, thank you. Oh yeah. You just gotta learn how to hold your hand real steady. Man, I, no, there's no way. No <laughs> way. I found one for like 500 bucks. That That's like, not too bad. That's doable at So least. I'm thinking about doing that. Like the extra 200 bucks, I was like, yeah, I'm good. You guys got one more you going to? Colburn or is that? No, we did Colburn first and it was pretty much empty. So everything I filmed today has been it empty too. units. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, hon. Appreciate it. Nice you too, now. Boom. Dang, that sucker's pretty. Spider crawling up right there. Alright. I gotta take a couple more pictures, though, so hold on. Yeah, no, 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 you're good. I'm just trying to get out of the weird murder basement. We're not trying to uh, have a seizure. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. We're at Trace Leche. Oh man. We're at three milks? Yeah. Where's the, is that the switch for upstairs? I don't know, it's creepy. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 
Yep, 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 yep. Well. How about that? You got a new vehicle, huh? You're not driving the Ford Escape that's falling apart no more. It's going to be the door further down on the right hand side down there. The steps that have completely collapsed. Yeah. Man, that's the problem. It's cold. It's a little chilly. Sitting in there for too long. Pull it over so you put them in there real quick or something. What? I'm not. How am I going to move shit and hold the baby? Is that right there? Yeah, they're about to hit that truck. The car. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Heading towards the back room if you're coming in. There's a lot of soot damage in here. Yeah, this is over. Assuming this is all his. It's quite a bit of stuff. Everything's on the outside. I mean, if this was a horror movie, bro. We this. this is the kind of shit you walk in on in a horror movie. <laughs> what are you yeah. talking about, dude? How bad the that's exact. I mean, yeah, this is the kind of shit they want to see. Bro, that's how they yeah. built it. You're in my cell. It's like you ask people to help and nobody. No, I have 11 kids. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't they all here? I mean, it was good enough when you all lay in your head and didn't have nowhere to fucking go. Uh, excuse me, but no, there, when you were laying and not eating food and taking showers, you don't have nowhere to go. And now where are you guys at now? Everybody wants to sit around and watch mom do it. Bullshit, man. Bullshit. Like, <laughs> I'm so fucking pissed. How old's this guy? Oh, oh, he's one. Yeah, he was at daycare. Um, I don't usually send my kids to daycare. Mm -hmm. um, Thursday, he went to daycare. I didn't send him Friday, didn't send him Monday. Tuesday I went, you know, I'm a nurse. So they, um, the lady's like, can you check this little baby out? You know, I think she, the mom said she has a yeast infection. I was like, well, the mom best feeds, whatever. That's comical, that's normal. But then I seen little bumps on her, I said, no, she has hand for her mouth. Mm -hmm. So not even that next day, I go to take him to daycare because he didn't have nothing, you know, and mom's, I'm like, get documentation, make sure that's what it is. And I looked at him this mor in the morning, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So I took him to the doctor, and I'm like, he's got a hand, put him out. Here's your documentation, I'll get the daycare clean and get them the fuck out. You know, point blank period. Sure. That's contagious as hell. Well, only within children. Sure, sure. Because yeah, we're, we're, we can fight the virus off. We yeah, can fight. Stronger immune system. Exactly. That's what I said. So within these, like, I'm like, he's got it on his feet. And I'm like, you know, it's just bullshit. You know... Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. So we're at three. A shopping cart with some used tires in it. Barely used. Fence looks great. Your yeah, TV. All right. Let's check out the inside. See what it looks like. Knock, knock, knock. 
What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. Hey, we got it. I myself have made millions of dollars, but I ain't gonna lie to you folks, it all ain't sunshine and rainbows, man. Section 8 tenants are animals. Section 8 tenants are savages. Section 8 tenants are heathens, man. <laughs> so then I said, okay, I called Lake cops. get the fuck out. And that's when I walked up to you guys and I talked to you guys and uh, the lady at the desk and everything and let them know, like, you know, I'll take over. Well, they said he had, a, um, I'll take over as long as the lease is in my name. Well, what she said is, uh, I said, I can afford the 750. They're like, oh no, 895 with deposit. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, well, that would have been different. You know what I'm saying? I said, well, then I can't, I can't afford it, you know, so. Wild Rose. I got the camera on my dash too, but <laughs> it's just like looking at the back yeah, of the cars. Because like, there's the this, this. there's the sink. There's an outlet. There's a here's a part of a 220 pod. Yeah, so the so stuff is over here. here. Somewhere over here. I don't know. To me, it looks like the fire started right like, here in that corner. Yeah. Well, there, one like, thing is for certain, boys, it was on fire at one point. All right. I need some privacy, boys. No smoke and no flames. Oh, the toilet seat's melted. No way, dude. Look at that. That's wicked. Oh, dude, some needles. <laughs> Not by UPS, by like one of those big white trucks. So how do I? And is that a new house? Because we were moving into a new house, so we waited till we moved. I mean, it's pretty weird. Uh, I can't, they're gonna be like, yeah. Oh, he's got it. That's it. That's it. It's a full and a twin. <laughs> got a nice find here, boys. This is what you want to see when you're walking through your property. Who's gonna please pick that up, dude? Not me. Yeah. <laughs> I almost threw up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that stove is ours, so the only thing in here that really needs to be taken out is the couch, right? Maybe the bed frame, I guess. I guess. That is all sorts of fucked up, bro. I can say by looking at that box, it's not weed. What do you think this is? I don't know, but it's definitely not weed. I think it might be a pipe. It's definitely pills. I don't feel like anything's in here. It's just baggy after baggy. <laughs> watch this bag. Watch this be nothing. Here's a dime. Oh, dime bag. <laughs> it's a literal dime bag, dude. Don't, Don't do this at home. It's not safe. Gotta wear gloves if you're gonna be touching random substances. There's weed remnants. There is. Oh yeah, there was some weed. There is oh. Murgawongles. Could that be the reason? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. More weed remnants. It does kind of smell like the marijuana's now. Nothing? Yeah, this no. guy was just in here blazing at 420 every day. 
Good for him. 420 on repeat, baby. Here. Did the move. Dirty, just dirty. That right there, that's work. You gotta really fucking hate a wall to beat the shit out of it like that. That's crazy. So what? He just showed up and like knocked the window out on you or something no, like that? No, he came up here it's with the cops, and I'm like, the cops came out. I'm like, what's going on? I was cooking dinner. I was like, what's going on? And the cops yeah. were like, uh, he wants to get his car out of here. I was like, number one, my that the car couldn't move the Sentra mm -hmm. because I was in an accident. Mm -hmm. So I had to get investigated and all this stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, after that, then um, I'm like, well, I could get towed out of here or pushed out of here, but uh, he's like, well, that's the BMW. I said, I got all the paperwork in the car. You want it? But what were you going to do with it? That's how bad it was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, literally, that's how bad it was. I'm like, like, what kind of drugs are you on, dude? I could see somebody smoking pot or something, but when you're stealing from people and yeah, stealing, sure. you know, it, it's habit. worse than that, dude. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I have 11 kids, you know, and God, don't take from me. You know, I'd help anybody in a heartbeat, but those ain't even our table. Like, it might be yours now if you want them. I know. <laughs> Maybe they're bad vibes, though. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to take them. Um. <laughs> Only the bottom two pieces come off. The glass on the bottom two pieces, which I wish you take off. Like, just lift it off, put your hand underneath and lift it off. Yeah, take it off. So, like, you know, the properties where we actually screen the tenants and, and place the tenants into these properties, the eviction rate is like a tenth uh, of what you see on tenants that we inherit through one of those two scenarios. And it's because we run a 100% no-nonsense business. We professionally screen everybody. We do not give deviations. We have standards. We stick to them. We never deviate from them. It is a no-deviation, no-nonsense policy, right? So like, you can give us any stop story in the world. If you don't check all the boxes, you don't get the fucking apartment. That's how it works. That's why we don't evict a lot of people. There's always a couple of medals. When I come back to this room, I'll show the ceiling and the window. Yeah, on the way out. I'll leave it as a surprise. This room I really need the light for because you can't see. All sorts of fucks from top to bottom. Yeah. I'll tilt up a little bit. What was, mean, what was the whole story? Like, what all happened? Because I know you... Well, I was paying rent. Yeah. Remember? And then, sure. Okay, and every time I give him money to pay rent every month, what uh, would happen uh, was he was turning around using it for drugs. Sure. So it comes to the end of it, then I see an eviction every three months. Mm -hmm. So that's when I'd go and drop the $2,100 or the $1,800 and you guys take... Yeah. And you know what? Finally... Because it would be I, like three months of rent is what you're saying. Yeah, so you see would, what I... If you go back and look at the paperwork, I was, I was doing it because Katie... The one that, you know, Katie and Rob, mm -hmm. uh, Katie went and got a five-year restraining order on him because mm -hmm. I guess he was obsessive or whatever. But I've known him since I was little, so I'm like, all right, let me, I have nowhere to go. Let me help you, Blase. My mom just passed away, you know. So I'm like, okay, not knowing the situation I got myself in. Come check this pad out. It's fucking killer. All right, let's see what we got going on here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that is a nice feature. There's no... Yeah. Right now we are. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, upward horizon has for us. So we're at three. Police department. Three, we're checking the unit. Copy, checking 
What's going on? If you get evicted and you have no place to go, you can call or an ambulance and then you can pack all your stuff in the ambulance and they'll take you somewhere. Is that really what happened? Yeah. Yeah, they're on the side over there and she was talking to them and then he started putting all the bags on the side of the ambulance. And she's home. Yeah, long time no see. The bottom front one finally. Back up will be in a couple of weeks. Let us sell you some real estate, dog. Just head of lettuce down there. There is a light. Did the move. work. You gotta really fucking hate a wall to beat the shit out of it like that. I understand what you're saying, but you gotta understand something, brother. Like, I'm just trying to work this out with you. This, I get that you're living here, right? But this is not your house, right? This is my house. No, nah, man, I'm gonna be paying, no. man. You guys can't no. be here, man. Th but you understand. I don't know what the shit is. No, you, you understand this is actually my house, bro, and, and you're not actually paying yeah, for it. You can't be coming up so, here. So, hey, bro. Steal it! it! Bro, 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 bro! Look, look, I'm coming here trying to be cool. Bro, I'm trying to be cool with you. I'm trying to be cool. Just This is just me trying to work something out with you. If if we got to come back, it's not going to be me. It's not going to be us, bro. It's going to be the cops, and there's going to be a whole crew of people, and they're going to be removing everything you own, bro. Huh? Well, I think that's true. So then, therefore, I was like, well... If he doesn't take his name off the lease, then I don't know because they, he wanted him out there saying that I'd take responsibility or something like that. He never did, so hey, I got screwed. Mm -hmm. You know, point blank, period, bottom line. So, I mean, there's nothing I could do about it. You know, I would have paid it, I would have took over the 750, kept it going, and you know, maintained and I painted the walls. He did all this shit. I'm like, you know. Yeah, I mean, so you haven't seen him since or whatever? Or um, like it's... I've seen him when he brought the cops over here trying to take my BMW because the plates are on in his name. Mm -hmm. And I told the cops, I said, no, that's my BMW running in. Yeah. And they were like, oh, no, that's hers. You can take the plates off and plus they're expired. Excuse me. Oh, that actually ain't too bad. Typical lesson stuff behind them. All right, let's check out the inside, see what it looks like. Knock, knock, knock. What's up, man? Welcome to my crib, man. We are knee deep in the crap, both literally and figuratively, when we are in the Section 8 space, okay? Nobody ends up on Section 8 just by happenstance. Nobody ends up on Section 8 by accident, okay? 
You end up on Section 8 because you have a history of making irresponsible, poor life decisions. So how like the how like the window thing come to be? Because I know you you you, you like came in and told me like what did he like show up over here and knock this thing out and like yeah it's because that's what you were saying like the dude like oh, showed dude, up yeah and, my son was asleep yeah and I'm like what the fuck happened to the window no I'm yeah. talking about the window in the kitchen oh uh, yeah yeah I'm like the kitchen the window is boarded up in there mm -hmm. I'm like so what the fuck you do come through the house and you know what yeah. the hell happened well you got you said you got your TV and stuff back yeah but they did no we got all our TVs I got a phone call at two thirty in the morning. Uh -huh. And the neighbors got cameras. That it was open, you're saying? Yeah. The window or whatever? No, no, no. The neighbors got cameras talking about that he was around here. And so she'll call me and whatnot. Gotcha. So I said, okay. So I I guess the back door was locked, unlocked. Okay. So when we came over here, the back door was unlocked. So I, I did come in the house. You know, I said, I'll call that. I don't give a shit. Sure. Because I got a 65 and 75 inch, you know, use all this shit that I had. Sure. That's cool. Get that last, so. So much shit in this fucking shithole house. You know, some of my best tenants are crackheads. Some of my worst tenants are crackheads. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh no. Fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah. Here you go, internet. There's needles there. A lot more than I thought. Yeah. Can you guys do a Good. Um Yeah. For starters, before I start looking around for pictures, this is pamphlet this is for you. And then this is a sheet where you can say that you have received it, print, sign, and date. I guess he just walked up to the gate, get that he's gonna leave. So now they're giving him a state charge. He didn't even leave the facility though. Hmm. I said, okay, well let me call you back for the Um All the stuff in the basement, it's not mine. The other washer and the sink. everything else, and we're just almost done with upstairs. So, okay. Yes, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. uh. Trying. I'm trying. No, it's good. Fucking hungry and I'm tired and shit. It. No, it's night and day different than it was. So, yeah. 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 Really good. It's cool. I'm trying, you know. Sure. Cool. I appreciate it, you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, your brother's uh, in charge of an adult. Joshua. You're going to have a cake charge. Everyone saw that? Huh? Yeah, everyone saw that coming. Oh, no, I guess he just walked in the cake. It's crazy how much better I feel now just being out of there. When other people are out there planning for the future, making responsible choices, your typical Section 8 tenant is not doing that, okay? Think about it. They get their check, they're spending it on freaking lottery tickets, cigarettes, beer, weed, going out, having fun. They're not saving for the future. Pulling out because they're not ready for family planning? Hell no, you don't see a lot of that. That's where you get all this entitled group of people living on food stamps, government cheese, and that Section 8 stuff, okay? He took my 60, I had a 65 inch in here, and I had a 75 inch in the box, so he took the 65 inch, put it in his room. Yes, <laughs>
There's something in it for you. That's why. <laughs> yes, he does his streaming or what do you do like that? What game do you play now? On the uh, PS4 Pro. Oh, dude, yeah. Fortnite, I mean, Red Dead Redemption. So like, so he took the 65 in, and then my daughter had a, um, my granddaughter got brought home with a whole bunch of toys, mm -hmm. and there's this kitty toy that I can't stand, so I just keep kicking it down the stairs. Well, all of a sudden I hear, and I'm like, no, oh, I knew my TV was cracked. Jeez. Sorry, this is just is the uh, unbelievable box. You've been here, but do you know where the basement is? Is it a oh, common man. access? Or I don't think it, it has common access. It's through that middle unit, or there's a back door. Yeah, I'll show you. For the basement? Yeah. yeah. Back, back door. door? Yep. Wait, the TIN number? Uh, three, oh shit, there's a fucking door. There was a door here. Yeah. Oh Lord, I'm so glad that Holden Wise came and put that bitch the fuck out because it was time for that hoe to go. Thank y'all, Holden Wise. Thank you. Shit, everybody needs to Hallelujah, see. amen. Thank yeah, you. I'm serious. It was time. That bitch had to go. Yeah. You know, he first, let me go turn my skit off and back. <laughs> That's so how you know it was put together well when it immediately falls apart. Were you waiting until the end to change the locks? Yeah, and I can't be in the way while they're... Yeah, true. Yeah, so I'm kind of in the way too. All right, we're at a property on Griggs Street. We're not going to give you the address specifically, but this is what a Detroit eviction can look like. So, uh, fortunately, uh, no damage to the windows here, but they left a lot of debris behind after being evicted. I don't know how people can uh, start over. Uh, well, I should say start over, uh, accumulate wealth or get ahead in life when they're constantly leaving stuff like all this behind. So this property was in pretty good shape. You can see the floors and everything. The painting was all done nice. Uh, and they just left all this stuff behind. Yeah, they did some damage here. Um, here's the kitchen. Food, everything left behind. Pots. Hands, microwave, you know, look at all that. They just, they just left it. So this is a three bedroom unit. Uh, this room's pretty cleaned out. Oh, is this one? Oh, they left some stuff right in bags that they never even used. 
blinds in this room they left and they painted that wall that's interesting then we got the bathroom they tore up the floor broke that well and then uh yeah they damaged all this so not the uh best of uh tenants obviously and they're uh starting over again because they left so much here but this is what it looks like signing off Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.